A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video we'll learn how to display report orders in a calendar, Oracle Apex includes a built-in wizard for generating a calendar. Using these two buttons provided at top left, we can switch between months. The placed orders are displayed in respective date cells, clicking an order in a cell takes us to page 29 to see its detail. Clicking any blank date cell, will start the order wizard to take new order entry. This today button brings us back to the current system date. This calendar also offers two options to view orders in different views, month and list views. Let's create this segment. This time we are creating a calendar page instead of a blank page. Link of source code is provided in description of this video, by opening part 8 folder you'll get the SQL query file used. In this query, order value is concatenated to each customer's name and is presented in specified format, you as an individual can test this query in SQL commands to see its output. This display column specifies the column to be displayed on the calendar, while the start date column attribute specifies which column is to be used as the date to place an entry on the calendar. If this end date attribute is specified, the calendar displays duration based events. This show time attribute specifies whether the time portion of the date should be displayed, the week and day views will be displayed on the calendar only when show time is set to yes. Click the create page button to finish the wizard. Click the Order Calendar region, in the Attributes tab. Click this View Edit Link attribute, and set the following properties to create a link. This link will drill down to the Order Details page, page 29 to show the details when the user clicks an existing order. Click this create link property, and set the following properties to create another link, this property is used to create a link to call page 11 to enter a new order when the user clicks an empty calendar cell. Save your progress by clicking this save page button. That's it, let's test our work. Run the application. Open this reports page, click this order calendar card. If you don't see orders in the calendar, use these previous and next buttons to switch back and forth, switch to any month for example, May. Click any name link in the calendar report to drill down to browse order details in page 29. Click any blank date cell, this will start the order wizard to take new order entry. Note that a new order is created in the current date, irrespective of the month in view or the date cell you clicked. By clicking this today button it brings us back to the current system date. By clicking this list view option, we'll see the current month order in list view. Thanks for watching.